Hello, everyone. I am Matt Gibb, and I'm presenting here with uh, my colleagues Dana Stuckey and Dr. Freddie Wills. Um, Dana and I both work at Maxar. Uh, Dr. Wills uh, is a professor at uh, Harris Stowe State University. Um, so, really happy to be there and here, and we are going to talk about fostering a mapping community in St. Louis. So mapping and the term geospatial are certainly not new to the St. Louis area, but the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency's announcement to maintain and even grow their presence here with their new campus created, in my opinion, kind of a geospatial awakening in this region to the technology and its application and the opportunity that's within it. So this has led to so many great initiatives and partnerships and many exciting headlines, as you can see here, um, capturing the momentum between the agencies, companies, and the educational entities that are here in St. Louis. Are you with us, Freddie? I think we might have lost Freddie. Um, yeah, it looks like there's some technical issues. We'll um, we'll try to get him on. Feel free to keep going. Yeah, we we can keep going. Um, so the partnership uh, between uh, Harris Stowe uh, and NGA has uh, sort of three major goals, uh, particularly around. Um, uh, three three activities. Uh, so K through 12 and undergrad uh, course and program development, um, continuing sort of deeper knowledge projects um, to understand methods to teach, promote, and develop uh, STEM across that entire spectrum of, of educational levels, and uh, additional research projects uh, between NGA and uh, Harris Stowe to create an provide additional opportunities to support the development of students um, in, in this uh, geospatial field. And this has actually led to the uh, creation of the Geo Hornet Lab, uh, which is a, a geospatial um, lab, <laughs> if you will, uh, for, um, for Harris Stowe students uh, to gain experience in this field. So Maxar's academic outreach program was established to inspire students and share technology and advance academic collaboration across multiple levels. So we have teams of employees committed to developing and sharing programs at both the K through 12 and university level. Last year, our programs reached over 1400 students and we're hoping this year now that uh, COVID is slowing down a little bit that we can reach even more. Our partnership with Harris Stowe is a demonstration of Maxar's commitment to, to this type of outreach to the St. Louis region and to engaging and growing diversity in our fields of expertise and in our workforce. So back in March, we held an event uh, with Harris Stowe uh, and the initial overall goals for that event were to grow the community of mappers uh, at, at Harris Stowe University, um, grow the community of mappers in St. Louis by engaging um, the high school students and uh, members of the community uh, and creating a more robust map of St. Louis that can be used for research and, and planning additional pro projects in the future. So we did a little research into the, to the OSM community that currently exists in St. Louis. Um, what we found, uh, just a little bit about that is, you know, there were 400 mappers that have made an edit in St. Louis this year. Uh, the most active in St. Louis are also very active uh, throughout the Midwest, you know, ranging from Chicago over to Kansas City. Uh, there's a number of Amazon mappers that, that exist. Um, and you know, mapping in St. Louis as they are throughout uh, throughout the country. Um, many people who are mapping in St. Louis are also mapping elsewhere in the U.S. Uh, from coast to coast, really. Um, but one thing we couldn't find was really any active dialogue 
uh, either in Slack or on mailing lists. Um, so there didn't seem to be too much coordination among mappers uh, in active mappers in St. Louis. And thank you to uh, Martine for the Meet Your Mappers tool, um, as well as the, the Disaster Ninja team uh, for helping me figure this out. So the event that we held was done in a hybrid format where we were able to gather some of us together uh, within the T-Rex Center in St. Louis, which is where the GL Hornet Lab is. And other participants were joining us online through Zoom. So we were able to share OSM with 12 students and 11 faculty and staff from the university. We also had seven Maxar staff participating both in the room and online to help answer any questions and contribute to the map. We're really looking forward to our next event, hopefully over this summer, where these 23 Harris Stowe participants can contribute, can continue to contribute to the map and also help us teach the next mappers to grow the community. So the data, uh, which is obviously an important result from a mapathon, um, a little bit about that. Um, so the goal for the mapathon was to map 11 uh, different neighborhoods in St. Louis. Uh, particularly underserved neighborhoods um, that run along the, the the edge of the Mississippi River, um, sort of just north of the downtown area, and that also runs along sort of a huge industrial area as well. Um, so as a result of the Mapathon, we did add 1,000 buildings, um, some traced by hand, some were added with the Map with AI plugin. Uh, that exists in Jossum, and that was about a 38% increase in buildings. Um, you can see those highlighted in gold uh, on, the, on the map, um, and the pre-existing buildings were uh, black. Um, so, you know, obviously a uh, number of buildings is, is nice, but what can we do to move things forward? Uh, it's not all about building counts. It's not all about how many edits you have. Um, you know, there, there's a number of ideas that were tossed around as a result of this mapathon. Uh, things for future ideas of accessibility, both uh, physical accessibility and technological accessibility in uh, in these neighborhoods, as well as a number of green spaces, uh, mapping those out uh, moving forward. There's still quite a bit to map in the area, so uh, thanks to OSM US for letting us use their instance of the tasking manager for this. Um, you can contribute to the that project. It's project 235 on, on the tasking manager. And so there's a number of future plans uh, and impact moving forward. Um, just want to check, did we get Freddie back before I take his, his slide? I don't not. think so. He was having trouble getting onto the stage. All righty. Um, so there, there's a number of um, programs moving forward um, at Harris Stowe, particularly around um, uh, geospatial technologies and, and uh, geospatial sciences. Um, so they want to continue uh, innovating uh, those academic programs uh, in partnership with NGA as well as industry partners uh, like Maxar. Uh, workforce development. Um, as a um, historically black college, uh, uh, Harris Stowe wants to build a pipeline of underrepresented and minority talent in the geoscience industry. And really no better place than St. Louis to do that um, given the presence um, of government agencies and, um, like I mentioned, a number of industry partners as well. Um, continuing to engage uh, the community uh, uh, and K through 16 students to introduce geospatial applications, uh, you know, both in, in work and in, in education, and then progressive, continuing progressive contributions, like I mentioned on the last slide, in St. Louis uh, through OpenStreetMap. There's, there's a lot more to map. Yes, we're hoping that our, our first mapathon was just one in a series of many. Right. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, we're happy to present uh, here to you all. Please uh, reach out to us if you have any questions, or if you are an active mapper in the St. Louis area, please reach out. We'd love to link up. <laughs>